YouTube, what's up, man? Um, I'm sitting here in Kentucky, and, and this place got Cynthia, Kentucky. Um, getting unloaded right now. I had uh, some big rolls of paper, and now they unload me. But uh, today I was just gonna talk about, you know, what you can kind of expect from uh, from CDL school. You know, and stuff like that. You know, and I might get into a little bit of how it is after school and you start working and stuff. I might not. Nah, well, I'll probably say that for another another video. But, but yeah, and also, if you guys see I'm shaking, like I said, I'm, I'm getting unloaded right now. So, they doing whatever they doing in the back. So, but, uh, as it, what they expect from CDL school? Uh, CDL school is not hard, but it's not exactly easy either. Like you got to go in with, with of course a, a student mindset. Like you can't go in and and think you know what you're talking about because you got an uncle that drives or drove or. Your, your dad drove, your mom drove, your sister, brother, cousin, it, it don't matter. You don't forget everything. If, if, even if you didn't roll with them and you, you know a little, little bit about it. Uh, just when you go to truck school, forget everything that you've learned and been told. like And, and do it their way because it'll be a whole lot easier on you. And it won't be as stressful as it could be because you made it that way. But your first week in CDL school, um, you really you gonna you gonna study in the book after you get done with your all the paperwork and getting processed in and all of that. Uh, that's usually on the first first and second day when you are doing all of that. But uh, basically the first week you're sitting in the classroom and you're in the uh, the, the the CDL book. I can't think of what it's called. Is it? See the CMV commercial motor vehicle uh, test booklet or whatever it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, you gonna be reading, highlighting different different points. Uh, you gonna have to do the. You gonna be learning about air brakes. You're gonna learn about the air brakes, general knowledge, uh, combination, and or uh, hazmat. I think I got all of them. I might have missed one. I don't know. But, um, yeah, you're going to sit there. You're going to study study all of that for a whole week. And then at the end of the week, you're going, you're going, uh, they're scheduling for your, uh, your permit test, your CDL permit test. You know, for those of you that, know, that don't know, you have to uh, get your CDL permit before you get the actual license. I know a lot of you probably you know think that's common sense but it's some people that really don't know <laughs> but um yeah and you get scheduled for your cdl uh, permit test you go up to the dmv and you get on the computer and hopefully you will pass the test the test ain't hard like i said you're gonna take like i said the, the general knowledge the air brakes combinations and and or your hazmat Tanker, if you if you going for any uh, endorsements like like hazmat tanker uh, doubles and triples and all of that, uh, see me, I don't have any uh, endorsements on my license. Uh, I'm actually thinking about going to get my hazmat, but I haven't you know put it into you know any real motion or anything like that. It's just been a thought. I haven't done anything to move towards doing it, but we might make it happen one of these days. Um, yeah, and after you pass that on your first try, hopefully, <laughs> um, you go back to the school usually the same day, depending on how long or how fast you get out of there or how long it takes you to get done. You usually go back to the school and then you go out on the yard and begin your, your second, third fourth week you usually spend one week in the classroom three to four 
out on the yard learning how to drive the truck, uh, shifting the gears and all of that. Um, when you get out on the yard, you're going to learn how to do, um, and, it, and it might be different, you know, a different order or whatever, depending on what school you went to, but the particular school that I went to, we did three backing maneuvers. We did the straight back, offset, and on um, the alley dock. And uh, the straight back is basically, it, it's just exactly what it is. You, you're backing the trailer straight up, keeping the trailer straight. Um, and the offset, like I said, the straight back is not that hard, but the offset is a little more challenging. Just a tad bit. Uh, assuming they'll probably have you guys going to the passenger side. Uh, it, it, it's not really a, a blind side back and for those of you that don't know what a blind side back is it's basically when you lose sight of your trailer and you can't see it out of your mirrors no more so it kind of in a sense it becomes a blind side back but when you turn your wheel back to the uh back to the left it, it comes back in sight so it's partial i guess you would say and, uh, but it, it's not too bad. Like I say, you would, you would do that. And the whole time your instructor, he should be, if he's a good instructor, he should be right there with you telling you, you know, turn your wheel to the left, turn to the right, keep keep your wheel straight. You know, he should be, you know, kind of walking you through it. You know, for at least two days. And then maybe on the third day, you know, he'll try to let you, you know, try to, Fix your own mistake. See if you can figure out your own mistake. I'm sitting here making this video, y'all. They didn't get done with me, but um, let me pull out from the dock a little bit. Got to go on top of here. Hold on for a second, y'all. Give me just a second. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, what was I at? What was I saying? I, I was telling you guys about the instructor and what he should be doing. That's good. He should be telling you, uh, he, on the third day, he should, you know, kind of let you see what you know. See if you can get yourself out of a bind if, if, if you happen to get in one. Cause that's really what what backing is is if you can fix your your own mistakes and correct them and get get into the uh the parking spot or bump the dock that's really what it is that's that's what it's about really it's nothing too hard though um you guys wondering what i'm doing i'm uh putting in my empty cowl on my on my claw huh so that's what i'm over here looking at but um then that third back, you're gonna do the the alley dock. And the alley dock is probably gonna be the most challenging one because that's the one where your truck and trailer is like at a 90 degree angle. Like say this is a truck, this is your trailer, and it's literally at a at a 90 degree angle like that. So that's probably gonna be the most challenging one for you. But this is the one I feel, me personally, I mean to each his own but me personally I feel like that's the most important one because that's the one that you're gonna do the most being out here on the road um, you know when you go to go to truck stops you're gonna be doing the alley dock when you go to shippers receivers and you bag into the docks you're gonna be doing the alley dock so I mean I feel like if you if you if you you need to excel in all three of them but if you 
you want to really excel in doing the uh, the Aladoc because, like I said, that's the one that you're gonna be doing the most, most of. So, but at the end of the day, I mean, all of it is important, and you need to go to school and take it serious and learn your craft or your trade or whatever you guys want to call it and get out here and make you some money because that's the the main objective of, of it all get out here and make some money because the money is good out here y'all it really is so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video up right there. Because I'm getting ready to pull out. I don't know where I'm going next. But stay tuned and we'll find out where I'm going next. So, but um, as I said, you guys don't forget to uh, comment, like, subscribe. Um, you can follow me on, uh, on Snapchat, add me on Snapchat at bbizzle underscore three that's b b i z z l e underscore three and uh i said if any of you guys got any questions uh i said you can just hit me up you can hit me on uh on snapchat you can hit me in the comments down below um i have a, i'm on facebook too me and my uh my girlfriend we had a facebook page together but uh if you want to add me on there as well, it's uh, it's, it's Justice and Braxton. Uh, and is the letter N though. So it's Justice and Braxton. So you guys can add me on there if you want and hit me up. And I said I'll be happy to answer any questions. If any of you have anything that you want to know. Um, but yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching.